Welcome to my Grove. This system's been going for about uh, almost two months, maybe a month and a half, a little more than that. And uh, it's looking great so far. It's really started to come together in the past couple weeks. Uh, as you can see in these, uh, in these veg plots, uh, the tatsoi is doing really well. I've got some strawberries, three strawberries in the front. I've been, uh, I've been thinning those guys out for a little while. Uh, then there's some basil here that we've, uh, I've lopped the top off of so that it'll branch and start to sort of bush out. We got some Swiss chard that's got a great, great red, uh, red pigmentation. Uh, so that, that's healthy. And then, um, and this tatsoi, which is kind of interesting because this one is actually, this one plug is actually three separate tatsois and they're sort of living together in harmony, if you can see. And, uh, these are turning out to be some of the most productive plants in this entire system. So we've been harvesting off of those. Down here we've got, got a bunch more kales. Here's a, a Toscano variety of some sort. There's a red Siberian. We've been harvesting a bunch of those. Uh, super delicious, very tender. Uh, and then in the front, not sure what this is, but another brassica of some sort. And then some collard greens. And the collard greens have been great. And they've got a really cool sort of bluish sheen to them. Really cool. You can see I'm actually wiping it off. It's like powdery. So that's kind of cool. And then in the back there, you got a bean, and that seems to be doing well. Going down to the next level. Here, we haven't been harvesting too much. Most of the harvesting is up top, but uh, but we got some some red romains in the front that are, are pretty wimpy, not super impressed with them. Uh, I think maybe that has to do with not enough airflow. Another Swiss chard over here that, that is pretty wimpy and, and stretched, uh, but got some really good uh, got some really good collards back here, so I'm looking forward to uh, eating those. We'll check out the fish tank from the side. A little snail koi catfish. And over here we got the same deal going on. Uh, pretty much the same plants until you get down to here. And uh, here we got a lavender. So uh, looking forward to sort of making this plot or one of these plots on the right tower more of an herb garden of sorts. So lavender and then lemon balm which is a really great herb that, that I've been snacking on. You can see one of those leaves is missing. Uh, and then back there, looks like a parsley. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's kind of hairy. Uh, we planted a bunch of weird stuff, so that'll be a mystery plant. And down here, uh, you have a chamomile, and that chamomile is doing really good. And I've actually been uh, been trimming some leaves off of that and eating them, and it's got a really good flavor. And you can see right next to that, this kale is super purple. Look at that leaf. Almost looks like a phosphorus deficiency or something. Check that out. Doesn't look very healthy, uh, but we'll see what happens. I wonder. I wonder if that's environmental or that's just this this individual plant. Uh, doesn't seem to be afflicting many of the other Saint Red Russians nearby. So I don't know. That's a mystery. We'll see what happens. But down there we got a really good tat, so I've been harvesting all that too. And there's the fish tank. It's looking really happy. Uh, I'll show you that in a in a minute or so. See the shrimp right there frog cool up here's the uh, the fruiting bed and uh, not too much growing in this yet we got a, a bean that's sort of clinging to everything it can you see it's just putting those tendrils out and grabbing onto everything everywhere it can it seems to be supporting itself pretty well well maybe not okay well, sorry about that there it goes pull these chemicals out of there uh, yeah, and this we got a chamomile and a lemon balm. We'll see if those stay in there. One plant that I'm pretty excited about is a strawberry, which seems to be exhibiting some sort of deficiency. It's yellowed a little bit, but it's doing decently. I mean, it's, it's the biggest strawberry of all of them. And it's also put out two sets of runners. So there's a, a runner there that's going to plant down and set some roots. And then another one coming out here. And there's another set on this side with a little leaf coming out there. So really excited to see what these strawberries do and if I can cultivate a nice strawberry patch uh, in the fruiting grow bed. Maybe get, a, maybe get a tomato or a pepper a little bit up higher in the canopy. All right, now let's put on the, uh, the waterproof case for the GoPro so we can go underwater. taken over the aquarium and it's actually shaded out a bunch of algae on the bottom and the other plants. 